Hello and welcome to All About Community. My name is Robert L. Harris and I am your host. This is a very, very sad time. We are thinking about uh, the anniversary of the murder, I mean murder, of George Floyd. But thankfully, the cop who murdered him has indeed been convicted. But that's not the end of story. The end of the story may not come for years. Because let me tell you what's happening. Today, they are trying, when I say they, the Republicans are trying, trying very hard to enact legislation across this nation which will punish people for teaching black history. Can you believe that? Punish people for teaching black history. And you know why? Because it may allegedly make white folks feel bad. My, my, my. What a sad commentary. But we're not here today to talk about that. That's just me. Those are my views. Today we're going to talk about the Oakland City Council. And I have as my guest, Trevor Reed. How are you? I'm doing well. You're looking good. Thank you, sir. It's good to see you. Hey, in person. <laughs> in person. I'm Welcome. enjoying watching your YouTube and oh, watching good, your channel. Good. So this is nice to be here with you. And well, you know, we go back a few days. We uh, do. Uh, PG &E. yeah. you Remember PG &E? Well, do I remember? <laughs> do I remember just how you trail uh, blazed a number of trails for us as black, um, you know, employees at PG and E is one of our, if not the first, black vice president there. But, so. For those of you who may not know, uh, <clears throat> Trina is a former employee at Pacific Gas and Electric Company, where I spent my entire career, first on the wow. legal side of the house and then uh, on the business side of the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, in those days, pg and &E was smoking. Well, I mean, we don't want to use smoking. smoking. <laughs> <laughs> that may not be the best <laughs> word to use right now, especially as we go into wildfire season. But they are going through some difficult are, challenges, yeah. and I'm confident that they will uh, overcome those I challenges. Uh, let's chat for a moment about your background. Uh, uh, how did you come to Oakland? How long you been in Oakland? I grew up around Oakland. Mm -hmm. So I was born and raised in Cincinnati. Uh, my parents uh, were married there. My parents divorced. And my father went on to a political career from Cincinnati to D.C. to Oakland. And I grew up around here doing those summer breaks. My first internships were here. I don't know. Um, if you were good friends with Bill Patterson, I uh, Bill oh my Patterson goodness, Bill all Patterson my was one of my just favorite mentors when I worked at the Oakland Convention Center during those times and Time Warner Cable back in the day. And so I grew up around here and then there was a season, um, early 2000s, where my father's health was greatly impacted and I resigned from Ford Motor Company where I was a district marketing manager um, and relocated out here to support him never imagining that I would remain back here as long as I did. So I lived here, I left, I went to school back east at Hampton University, and I've since been here since Hampton is a great institution. It is, it I, is. I understand, I forget his name, but uh, he's getting ready to retire after about 40-something oh, years. President Harvey, he Harvey, is. Harvey, Bill yes, Harvey. Yes. Yes, indeed. You know my brother, I understand, from Cincinnati. I love your brother. I had no idea that your family had been pouring into my life for years. Your brother and my uncle are really close friends. They've, you know, been in church and ministry, business. Procter & Gamble, of course, is really exactly. big back in Cincinnati. And uh, their relationships formed um, with your family and my family over the years. And so to have seen him here right as we were going into COVID, and right. to be able to give him a hug <laughs> um, before your daughter's wedding. Also, he was exactly. here for your daughter's wedding exactly. last year. But I love your family. <laughs> they bring me so much joy, and they have blessed me tremendously. Well, thank you. Uh, when did you become interested in politics, and how did that happen? I don't know that I was ever interested in politics, per se, but I have always been interested in serving people. It's just been a part of my life our upbringing. I shared, you know, particularly more over the last year, that I am one of the oldest of 129 cousins with just my father's siblings. Wow. And so we grew up in our house serving, giving, showing up, uplifting, empowering people in our family, in the community, at church, 
um, and being civically engaged. My great grandmother, uh, Emma Mae Reed, was a, a voting precinct captain, and so she really led the charge in our community, in our church, and in our home with instilling these values of how you show up to serve and you really fight and advocate for not just your family, but for others. And so it's just always been a part of who I am and wanting to see people's lives transformed through the work that I bring to those relationships. Well, it seems that it runs in the family then. It, it does in that sense, it absolutely does. Some families have different, you know, paths that they pursue. My mom is an educator, my brother followed that path, you know, my father has served you know, in politics as a public servant, and certainly I am on that path as well. But before this, I was serving on like 12 different boards and organizations, and so I honestly thought that I would outserve what I believe God was calling me to into running. I thought that if I just served enough everywhere else, <laughs> that I would not have to <laughs> serve in an elected office. But this time is so critical for us, and so much of what we are enduring and experiencing, especially in East Oakland, our lived experiences for me, our shared experiences for me, overcoming the deep loss and the trauma of losing loved ones to gun violence. My daughter's oldest brother was murdered in 2013 in the midst of me then working for Nancy Skinner when she was in assembly and helping to advocate and move her violence prevention packages through the legislator. We were faced with our own trauma, you know, having lived with housing instability, growing up living 10 to 20 of us in a three bedroom one bathroom, being unemployed and knowing the weight of what we experience in East Oakland, where the city is at 8% unemployment, almost double that in East Oakland. Well, my, I moved. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's like, uh, it makes, makes me almost want to holler. <laughs> but uh, uh, that's good. Uh, we're going to have to go to break, but when we come back from break, we want to talk about uh, a little bit about District 7. Yeah. Don't Touch that remote. Just put it down. Put it down. We will be right back with All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host, and I'm talking with Trevor Reed, District 7.